Hello, this is Mami Zella at pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay how to divide fractions. Okay, simulan na natin. How to divide fractions. So in this example, we have 3 fourth divided by 4 fifth. So the 3 fourth is our dividend and the 4 fifth is our divisor. So what's the rule to divide fractions? First is, we change the divisor to its reciprocal. Meaning to say, the number in our numerator will be the denominator and the denominator number will be the numerator. The second is, multiply it by the dividend. So after we change it to reciprocal, we multiply it to our dividend. Okay, let's solve. So 3 fourth divided by 4 fifth is equal to 3 fourth. Applying the rules, we write the 5 as our numerator over our numerator, which is 4. Now becomes our denominator. And then number 2, we multiply it by the dividend. Okay? So let's proceed. Now we apply now the rules for multiplication. So what's the rule? Review. We multiply the numerator and then we multiply the denominator. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So our answer is 15 over 16. So this is the simplest form. Okay, let's have another example. Now, sa susunod naman ay ang ating example ay 3 fourth divided by 3. We have whole number 3. So, how we do it? We write 3 fourth divided by 3 over 1. So, this is how we convert the whole number into fraction. Is equal to 3 fourth applying the rule. The 1 will become our numerator now, and then the 3 will become our denominator, the reciprocal. And then, we multiply it. So, change the operator to multiplication. This is how it goes. Okay, right now, if we can still remember yung lesson natin sa multiplication, we can turn it into simplest form before multiplying. So, we find, oh, so 3 and 3, we can find a common number that can be divided into 3 and 3, which is 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. Okay, so we crush it out. Hopefully, na-follow nyo, di ba? Sa previous lesson natin, tinalakay natin ito. Now, we can transform it into simplest form before multiplying. Now, let's multiply. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. So, the answer now is 1 fourth. Okay, how about if we did not simplify it before multiplying? So, the other way. So, this is our given. 3 fourth times 1 third. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, our answer is 3 over 12. Now, 3 over 12 can still be simplified. So, let's find the simplest form by dividing it by 3, which is 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So, still, our answer is 1 fourth. So, the same siya. 1 fourth. Okay, let's proceed with another example. This time, it would be mixed numbers. We have whole number and a fraction. So, to proceed, we need to change our mixed number into improper fraction. So, how to do it? First, we multiply the denominator to our whole number. So, like this. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And then, we add plus 1. So, 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. So, we write 13. And then, we write our denominator, which is 4. Next, our divisor, we also convert this one into improper fraction, which is 3 times 2 is equal to 6, plus 2 is equal to 8. So, 8. And then, sulat natin ang ating denominator, which is 3. Okay, this can also be written 13 over 4. 
Applying the rules, the 3 become the numerator and then the 8 become denominator. And then the operator would be multiplication. Now let's proceed with the multiplication. 13 times 3 is equal to 39. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. So if we can see, our numerator is bigger than our denominator. So what we do to find the simplest form is we divide it. So 39 divided by 32 is equal to 1. 1 times 32 is equal to 32. Next is subtraction. 9 minus 2 is equal to 7. So our simplest form answer now is we write the 1 as our whole number, our remainder as our numerator, and 32 as our denominator. So this is the simplest form answer. Hopefully nasundan ninyo. So ito yung example on how to divide fractions. Hanggang sa muli! Music